It is Saturday morning. Not morning. Who are we kidding? It's probably like noon at this point. <laughs> but we're hanging out in this room. I have no idea why. Actually, I know why. Tom came to look at his little guys here. Now Penelope is taking out all my makeup from my drawers. Oh, you want to come say hi? Say hi. Hello. Yeah? Are you having fun with mommy's makeup? I don't know what else to say because there's not much going on. We have breakfast, we're just chilling, and then I'm gonna get going. And then we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. Oh my god, she's just emptying out my drawer. Thankfully, she can't open any of it because everything's just like closed, but she's just taking everything out of the drawers. Penelope oh, got this new toy, right? And she freaking is obsessed. She loves it. She just got it yesterday and we played. And she loves it. I'm getting some ice cubes. Woo! I'll tie with dad. And now you're having a cookie. Look how cute her outfit is. Her little romper. Oh my god. It's so cute. So cute. Little nugget. Hello everyone. Did I say hi already? I did. My brain is just... Mm -mm, mm -mm, no bueno. So I am headed to get my lashes done. Because I legit have like... Like my right eye has half, like half lashes, half nothing. <laughs> so I'm glad that I'm gonna go get those done. Ton and Penelope just went inside. It's so freaking hot out. So she's tired. I'm sure she's gonna fall asleep because every time I go out, of course she sleeps for Ton the entire time until I walk through the door and then she's like up. So I'm on my way and I'm driving by myself, I figure we would just have a little chat. So this week on my Instagram, I had a little rant, or not rant, but a little, a, little, a little pep talk. I feel like if we all just share more positive stuff and more like happy things, wouldn't we all be better people or like happier people at least? So this week, the reason why I share my little pep talk is because when this week started, I was having like a little moment. I don't know what to call it. I wasn't feeling good and my back, I messed it up at the gym so it was killing me. And Monday and Tuesday, I did absolutely nothing. Or Tuesday, Wednesday, one of those two days. I did nothing, like legit nothing. I think either Tuesday or Wednesday I sat on the couch pretty much all day watch a movie with Pete don't get me wrong it was nice but I just wasn't feeling myself and then I woke up either I don't I don't remember the days but either I think it was Wednesday I woke up Wednesday on my back when I woke up my back was still hurting and I was like I guess I'm just gonna stay home all day again and just like you know let my back be good maybe I'll get a little cleaning done like I was just like Debbie Downer. It was not good. And then I found a quote. The quote says, we are the choices we make. Uh, no, well, the, the quote that I saw first was a quote that said, uh, make a list of the things that make you happy. Make a list of the things you do every day and then plan accordingly. And that really resonated with me. So then I went back to my Pinterest where I save quotes that I like. And I found another quote that I've always liked that says that we are our choices. And then I told myself, it was still morning. It was I was still in bed. I was getting up, getting ready to get Penelope's bottle. Um, and then I said to myself, you know what? My back still hurts and I'm not feeling great. But instead of sitting on the couch and doing nothing, I am going to do things that make me happy and that make me feel good so 
what did I do? I went to the gym because even though my back was hurting and I probably shouldn't have gone, the gym makes me feel good. Like sometimes, a lot of times, I don't want to go to the gym. I don't feel like going. I don't feel to make I don't feel like making the trip there. But number one, being a mom, being a stay-at-home mom helps because it's a it's an outlet for me, so I get to leave the house and have a little time alone. And then also after I go to the gym, I feel so much better. I feel like I have more energy. I feel like I'm in a better mood. There's so many studies out there proving that working out does make you a happier, more active person. So I went to the gym. Then I thought to myself, I love seeing Penelope happy. I love seeing her smile. And she's been cooked up in the, in the house for the past two days, even though she likes it and we play and we did things she liked. Like, I said, let's just go to the park. So I put on her bathing suit and we went to the park. Here's a little picture of it. She had snacks, she walked around, she went down the slide. She loved it. And seeing her happy and having a good time and being outdoors made me happy. Then we came back home and we watched a movie. I watched a movie. She watched, Tom was home then um, we all watched a movie. I mean, she was in and out of the movie, but she sat with us for a while. She had snacks. We watched the entire movie and then I made dinner for us. And then we had a dancing party. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I like love dancing and music. So I'm always having dancing parties on my story. So the three of us just listen to music tone is like the dj he doesn't really dance but he's the dj and i just danced with penelope and we cleaned up while we were dancing and then at the end of the night i was like you know what i feel so much better than i did yesterday when i sat on the couch the entire day doing nothing like i actually felt like my spirits were up and it was a good day like i went to bed and i thought to myself wow today was a great day and since then, I just keep thinking about that. Like, we are the choices we make. I feel like being happy is a choice you have to make every single day. You have to choose to be happy. And a negative mind, a negative vibe is not going to give you that. And I am not sitting here saying that every day I wake up and I'm like happy and I choose to be happy and I'm in a great mood because it's not true. I'm not saying it's easy, but you are the choices you make. We all have something bad that's happening in our lives not or something that we could complain about or something that makes us sad we all have that every single day every single day i bet you there's something in your life that you could complain about whether it is that your shipment didn't come in or your kid is being a freaking pain in the ass or you just sad because you miss your family or i mean every day there is something that you could either be upset about or sad about but you could choose to either deal with it and just cry about it and be a victim about it or you could choose to just take it in let it go and move on and that's what you have to do that's what you have to do because just like there is bad things that we have going on every day or my camera's overheating because it's on the sun and I barely have any battery but I just want to finish just like we have things that upset us or make us sad every day there's also a million things that make us happy and that we should be thankful for we all have those things so I think that it's it's worth the effort you know it's worth the effort because what I realized this week was that the day that I got up and I chose to be a happier person and do things that made me happy was way better than the day that I sat on my couch and complained about my back hurting and how I didn't really feel myself. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna leave you with because my battery's gonna die and because the sun is hitting my camera, it's overheating. Let's spread some positive vibes out in the world instead of spreading a bunch of like negative shit. Let's just keep it real, keep it light, and keep it happy guys so we could all be better and happier people and so our kids could see us being better happier people and not miserable people are you having lunch Penelope's having some fish sticks and some tomatoes 
She just woke up from a nap. Of course, she was sleeping the whole time I was gone. And now I'm gonna have some lunch. All right, I'm gonna have lunch, but I figure I'll show you guys because you guys always know. I mean, you guys always like when I show you what I eat. So, this is what I'm having for lunch. I love this Asian chopped kit. I get them at Sam's Club because they're cheaper, but they have them at Target. Uh, actually, this one I got at Target, and it has cabbage, green cabbage, romaine, lettuce, carrot, celery, wonton strips, uh, sliced salmon, green onions, and cilantro and it comes with an asian style sesame dressing and it's so freaking good i being like hooked on it and then if i have chicken like grilled chicken that i made i'll put that um but i don't have some right now so i use some of this chicken breast and this is the only canned chicken that i like it like it's like shredded chicken it's it's really good it tastes just like chicken i mean it's chicken but you know what i mean like it doesn't taste canned it tastes like you just have shredded chicken and this one i'll show it to you closer this one is from sam's club that's where we get it so i put a cup of this in there and i also put some avocado but i ate a whole avocado for breakfast so i'm not gonna put avocado um but that's it it's so good i i'll use like half of this thing today and then i'll eat the other half tomorrow but i just wanted to share it with you guys because it's a super easy and super good lunch this is great to take to work with you or just to eat at home really good really easy and healthy so there you go that's what i'm having for lunch what are you saying p yeah. say it <laughs> what were you saying yeah. And what else happened? Tell mommy. I would go, no way. For real? Hi. Hi, what are you doing back there? She has been talking nonstop, like she hasn't stopped. Uh, but real quick, we're heading out. Uh, we need to go to Coles to exchange. Tone. This is like super close to me. I feel like yep. Uh, to exchange some pants for town, and then we're gonna grab some dinner. But I just realized that I grab <laughs> that I grabbed the okay. She's <laughs> so crazy. Oh, this song is the worst, and she loves it. I don't know if you guys could see her back there singing. Are you singing, P? Is this your favorite song? Yeah? Tap, tap, tap. After calls, we all needed a drink. Penelope obviously wanted some wine. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. We just got home. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie. Today has been rough with Pete. Well, not today, but like the second half of the day. Oh my god, she had a tantrum attack at Coles. It wasn't good. Like she was pissed. And last night she did wake up in the middle of the night, and it's because she has molars coming out. And I think that's why she's acting like this, but Bad. she's never done that at a store it was embarrassing and then by the time we found a place to eat it was so late that i'm just kind of like talking low because don is putting her to sleep but um it was kind of late so she was just cranky and we were out and i had to give her the phone i don't even care when we're out i'm like tone and higher like who cares let's just not be those parents we're a screaming child um and that's the only way she ate so i mean you could judge me, I don't really care, but that's what happened. So I'm like, I wanna just keep drinking of how stressed out I am, but I wanted to show you really quick what we picked up from Coles because Tone had to return some pants that his mom got him for Father's Day and the, he got the right sizes and they were like 
half the price that she paid for them so it was great because if we saved so much money we were able to get some other stuff for p so i'm gonna show you okay so really quick these are the pants that tone got for himself and he also got some socks and then we got p this it was originally 15 dollars, but we paid eight bucks for it because it was on sale um tone thought that she would like this little bowling set so that should be fun and then i found her hat because i don't know if i told you guys but i was trying on her hats when we were unpacking and she only has one hat that fits her so i found this one and it's just pretty cute i feel like the color is perfect and it'll match her with everything and it's kind of like light um and it's perfect for disney because that's what i was looking for and it was i think seven bucks and then Tom found her this cute shirt. They have so many Disney shirts at Kohl's that are so cute. But Tom picked this one. He liked that one. So I think this is what I'm going to change her into. Because we're going to drive to Disney. So I think, of course, she's going to be in her PJs. Because we're leaving really early in the morning. And then I'm going to change her into this with like some shorts to get there. So cute. And then I found these. How cool is this tea? You guys know... I'm obsessed with tees and they were two for ten for tw 20 bucks so ten dollars each except that one she was like oh this one doesn't look like it's two for ten it's more i said well the whole stack is on that rack and they were like oh it's true so they honored it for me but this one was actually 24 dollars so they gave me two of these for 20 bucks so i thought this was super cute and i could just uh, wear it on the drive there with some leggings and I'll be super comfy So that's it. That's all I got. Just wanted to show you guys. What else was I gonna say? I don't think anything else. Tony's is putting Peter to sleep and I'm thinking of ending this vlog here and Just posting it tomorrow We're not gonna do anything. I think we might watch a movie But what really happens every time we say we're gonna watch a movie unless there's something out that we really want to watch We say we're gonna watch a movie and then we look on Netflix, we look on the Amazon stick, we look on regular cable, we look everywhere for a movie for the longest time. And then we're like, ah, there's nothing to watch and we don't end up watching anything. So we'll see if that actually happens. Make sure you give this a thumbs up if you wanna keep seeing vlogs. And actually, let me know what type of videos you would like me to do because i definitely want to film before i go to disney um so in the comments leave me some videos of some things that you would like to see besides like cleaning videos um, and vlogs well actually no put anything if you want more cleaning videos if you want more vlogs any idea or anything that you want to see leave it in the comments below and i'll see you guys later peace peace